Hello everybody, this is a brief introduction into Spider for Jupyter users. You can start Spider on a Windows machine by going to the Start button, select the Anaconda tab and click on Spider. Or you can fire up the Anaconda Navigator and click on the Spider icon. Or you can open up a terminal or a command prompt and type Spider. Spider is an IDE, an Integrated Development Environment. When it starts up, it comes up with three main panels. The panel on the left, the panel on the left is an editor. The panel in the upper right hand corner is an explorer. And the bottom right hand corner is the IPython console or the command prompt. This is like a big code cell. And here you can type Python commands. For example, you can type I A equals three, B is equal to five, a plus B gives us 8. Notice that every time you hit enter, it actually executes that line. So A is equal to 3 is executed, B is equal to 5, and A plus B is executed. And the output is written to the screen. When you now click on the variable explorer in the upper right hand corner, you actually see the different variables that have been defined. In this case, A and B, they're both integers, they have size 1. A is equal to 3 and B is equal to 5. Before we continue, we have to set one preference in Spider. Go to the Python menu at the top, select Preferences. A little window pops up. And in that window, you click on the IPython console and on Graphics. Then under Backend, you select Automatic which is already selected in my window, but your window, if this is the first time you use Spider, probably says inline. Make sure this says automatic, click on OK, and it's probably safe now to exit Spider and go back in. Uh, we can make a plot. For example, to do make a plot, we first have to import matplotlib. Import matplotlib.pyplot as plt, and we can Make a plot, plt.plot, say we want to plot 1, 3, and 2. We hit enter, and a nice graphic appears um, on the screen where we can zoom and we can pan, uh, or we can add an X label, plt.x label, uh, X axis. Once you execute this, you don't see the f uh, window pop back up because it's hidden behind the screen, so we can find it back, click on it, and it's on the front again. And, and the windows, you probably have to select it here at the bottom where they're all listed together. And we can click it away, and it's gone. On the left-hand side, we have an editor where we can store all our Python commands. For example, we can write a script to plot the sign of X. Import numpy numpy snp import matplotlib.pyplot splt x is equal to np.lin space from 0 to 3 times pi with 100 points y is equal to np.sign of x and then we say plt.plot x versus y. Um, then we can store this file by hitting file save or file save as and if we do file save as a window pops up and you can select where to store your file. Once, you're, once you've saved your file, I've called it the attempt.py, we can run it by clicking on the green triangle here at the top. If you hover your cursor over the green triangle it says run file so let's click that and it will run this for us and it will produce the figure we wanted um, then if you click it away we can edit this script again uh, for example it's always safe if you do a figure to first give the figure to make a new figure and we might want to add an x label which we're going to call x axis and we can hit the green arrow again and run it again if you would have an error, for example, if you forget the parentheses on the X label X axis, if you now hit the green triangle to run the file, it runs it and says, ah, unexpected error while parsing. 
Um, and you can go back, it shows it where it is. We can go back, fix it, save the file and run it again. And now it nicely works. If you want to start a second figure, we can do that too. We do a plt.figure. We can even specify what the figure size should be. Say figure size is equal to 10 by five. And then we do plt.plot one, three, two. Then we get two figures. If you run this file, we hit the green triangle again. We get two figures. This is figure two, which is 10 wide and five high. And we get figure one, which was the first figure that we plotted, which was the sign of X. Notice that we have two more variables now in our namespace. We have X and Y, which were defined here in the file. And they have these values. They are flow 64, so 100 length. And this looks a little odd, these values, but that's because I've increased the font size in this window on your machine where you have not increased the font size for a video. It probably will be easily readable. That's all I have for you today. I hope to see you next time.